Paul 1.6 is now live. Streaming life is strange, true colors, life is strange true colors play through hyphen episode 4. Just a disclaimer, any music, character, or uh, video, uh, I do not own any of those. So let's give due courtesy to those, to the rightful owner of anything you will hear, see. I just want to share my gameplay, so I hope you sit back and enjoy. Pike, it's all on this USB drive. All the evidence you need to nail Typhon for Gabe's death and plenty more. All right. Bring it with you. I'll meet you in an hour. Thanks. Talk soon. Citizens of Haven Springs, we are live at the Spring Festival. One final reminder to head over to the Lathe Flower Cart and grab a rose before they're gone. At Haven's inaugural Spring Festival, eligible women of good stock and birthing age would offer up roses in order to attract a mate. What can I say? History is weird. Thankfully, we've lost the mating stuff, but kept the roses. And if you do have a special someone in mind, a rose is a great way to say you care. And an even better way to say, hey look, a rose. 
Sounds fun. Is giving away a rose something I'd do? Maybe. I can decide downstairs. For now, I'll grab the USB stick. It's very tempting to curl up with this all night instead of leaving my apartment. I remember trying to pregame as a teenager and just going to sleep instead. Happy Spring Festival, Gabe. Looks like the festival is already in full swing. I'm pretty nervous. Traditionally, you give roses to your crush at the Spring Festival, so... I've never had a girl give me flowers before. I'm sorry. I didn't know you cared so much about traditional gender roles. I'll get back to my butter churning and doilies. Shut up. You first. I would do anything to put the two of them back together. This one ornament will really bring my tree together. Ah, string lights. The key to unlocking the cozy places subreddit. What are the chances your instruction manual is in here? For now, I'll grab the USB stick. I'm thinking this will make an excellent after festival snack. I think I'll stick with Minesweeper from now on. Don't worry. I'll come back to you. I've been meaning to tell Jed about the sink, but I'm afraid he'll try to teach me how to fix it myself. really doesn't deserve Thanor. I've been playing more these past few weeks than the last few years. Feel, man, the latest issue gets dark. I'm sure Ethan will be fine. Alexandra the Bard will ride again. The USB stick is on my desk. I'm about ready to start my own list. I've got a lot riding on you, small, inanimate object. Okay, time to head downstairs.
Steph did a really great job putting all that together. Guess the festival started a while ago. Everything is so not fine. I should really head down to the park. Test, test. Check, check. Check. Holy shit, you own a skirt? Hey, guys. Happy first spring fest. Thanks. I got a hold of Pike. He'll be here soon. Once he sees what's on that stick, it's over for Typhon. Hence the celebration. <laughs> I think we've all earned the right to enjoy ourselves a little tonight. The band's coming on soon. You'd better be front and center. Oh, Rad. Do you need help setting up for the show? Nah, it's all good. We're almost there. I have to run back to the trailer. Go be a normal person for a while. Can't make any promises. <laughs> Text me when it's ready. If I wanted to give away a rose, Steph and Ryan would definitely be on my list. Anyway, time to enjoy the festival. Two thirty two, two thirty three, two thirty four. No, <sighs> the red one. This is two thirty four. So demoralized. Wait, why do I do this Damn to it. myself? Hmm, <sighs> maybe I can help him somehow. One, two, three. <sighs> this game is so demoralizing. Why do I do this to myself? Hmm. Maybe I can help. Hi. Oh, hey. Nice to see you. You're taking this jelly bean thing very seriously. Yeah, because the prize is a $100 gift card. My mom just got a promotion, so I thought I could take her out for a nice dinner. Which is really embarrassing, saying it out loud. Not at all. That's sweet. Maybe I can help. Oh, for real? Are you good at this? How many jelly beans do you think there are? I've never seen anyone so focused on a jelly bean jar. Three hundred... ish. Huh. Yeah, could be. Feels like something just changed in that lady by the jar. Maybe I should read her. Three hundred... 
What a nitwit. Not even close. I was that far off? Maybe I should say something before he guesses wrong. Also, the hell is your problem, lady? Hey, I've got another guess. Yeah? I think it's closer to 700. Yeah, 700 feels right. But we have to get it exactly. Just felt that lady's heart skip a beat. I should read her again. Hear me, they're really close to 731. Who is this girl? Hell yes, your secret's mine. Might as well wander around and be social. The answer is 731. Don't ask me how. 731 jelly beans. That's... That's correct. Yes! Thanks so much for your help. You rule. <laughs> no sweat. She's gonna rage eat that entire jar, isn't she? Got pretty lucky there, didn't ya? Super lucky. I can't believe it. How did she know? Just a lifetime of emotional trauma. Best spring fest ever. And so peace returned to the Jellybean Kingdom. I don't think this thing is checking IDs. Nobody tell Pike. It happened last year. Yep. It's been a hell of I a month. I remember it clear as day. But this makes it all worthwhile. Jed loves this town so much. It's inspiring. Probably around 10 or 11 p.m. And he was already drunk as a skunk boy. And I'm not advocating for that kind of drinking, mind you. Despite my occupation, Spring Fest is different. Excuse me. Probably around 10 or 11 p.m. It's nice to see Jed so in his element. And I'm not advocating for that kind of drinking, mind you. I'm sure Jed's around the festival. Maybe I can say hi. From broadcast the lantern. live from we the park. Right? It almost makes you feel like but a tiny anyway, Coachella. He comes racing <laughs> out of the diner. Super tiny. Over a couple of... So, listen to anything good lately? Oh, hi, Val. They even looped you into participating, huh? This is awesome. Favorite time of the year, by far. That kind of enthusiasm is infectious, especially for me. So this is that whole communal gathering thing everyone's always going on about. Yep, I get it. I guess Riley is feeling sentimental tonight, but I haven't seen her around. Where is she?
I'm sure Jed's around the festival. Maybe I can say hi. It's nice to see Jed so in his element. It's been a hell of a month, but... Excuse me. I see him... Excuse me. I see him hauling ass toward the... De Excuse me. I see him hauling ass toward the dock, and I get on after him, because I know what he's aiming for. And sure as hell, this son of a bitch jumps right off the end of the dock and into the water. Smack! Belly flop. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. So, there's this young farm maid in the elvish countryside, sets out to find her missing sister, who was abducted years ago by a guild of warlocks. Go on. Along the way, she picks up mercenaries, the kind she never expected to be friends with. Elf criminal, undead priest. Oh. They find the sister. The sister is now the high warlock of the guild. She's threatening the entire kingdom with her magical shit. And they gotta take her out. Right? I, I don't know, but what a dilemma. Fucking Shakespeare meets Tolkien. This is what I always should have been writing. Desi, this is amazing. It sounds like your muse is finally back. Didn't need a muse. Just needed to get out of my own head long enough to remember who I am. Thank you, Steph. Thanks for helping me find the fun again. Sounds like Ethan wasn't the only one inspired by the LARP today. I should tell Mac that I heard the call. He deserves that much, at least. I haven't seen Mac in a while. He seems no better off than before. I heard the call. And I wanted to thank you. I know you tried to do the right thing. So, what now? I'm taking Typhon down. The whole hornet's nest. I'm not betting against you. But... In the meantime... They're the only ones cutting checks in town. And I still got plenty of bills to pay. Come on, Mac. Even you're too good to work for them. <laughs> it's always flattering to see how much you care about me. No wonder you try to break up me and Riley. Ugh. There's the Mac I know. Sounds like Chief viewers on VFG25SDG.top slash 9ZJL. Man, 
Haven really parties at this festival, huh? Hello, everybody? Can I have your attention? Jed, what are you doing? I just wanted to take this opportunity to say, right here, in front of God and everyone, that Annette Teresa Foster is just the most beautiful woman in the world. They say the Spring Festival is about telling folks how you feel. And Anne, I feel like I'd just about die if I couldn't make you my wife. You had to go and make a scene, didn't you? Who knew young Jed had such a flair for the dramatic? Doing this takes a certain type of person, and I am not that person. Steph is just awesome. Maybe I could give a rose to her. So then, where's the after party this year? After uh, party? I just hope Riley is doing all right. Young man oh, like no. yourself, you must know what, what the house Riley? is. Honestly, I'm getting pretty bushed. I can have Colin in a night soon. There's no graceful way My to sample goodness. everything on this table. What is this town is coming it? to? Used to be. Hi, Eleanor. Good evening, dear. Hey, so where's Riley? I haven't seen her around. Well, she's got a lot going on right now. I think she'd rather keep to herself too. That was odd. I wonder if there's something she's not telling me. So, we doing shots tonight or what? Of course. Body shots? Who's going first? Just kidding. <laughs> or am I? Decorations really turned out beautifully. It must have been a huge amount of work. It's worth it. I better get going. Enjoy your night. You too. Poor Riley, waiting for a bus all alone. But thank God she never found out about my condition. Riley went to the bus stop. Alone. I wonder why. My bad. The world's most unnecessary vodka delivery system. Oh, Mr. Lantern, I love what you've done with your bar. with that sign.
plenty of people are still out around town. No, Mom, it's not an emergency. Typhon is Trust not me, normal. I made a mistake coming here. Get out while you can, dude. It's just... Typhon is really... I don't know. I told you, we all is not is right normal. I, I made a mistake coming here. Do you think you could talk to Uncle Rick? See if that sounds above board to him? No, Mom. Couldn't have said it better myself. What are you so happy about? It's been a while since I've seen you smile like that. It's that cake. That dragon-shaped ice cream cake. I feel like something clicked as soon as we thought of it. As soon as you thought of it. My bad. What are you so happy about? It's been a while since I've seen you smile like that. We're ice cream it's geniuses. Cake, we run this shit. Keep flexing, ice cream lady. I feel like something clicked as soon as we thought of it. As soon as you We're thought of it. We're ice cream geniuses. I can't stop we thinking run about this shit. it. Could we do a castle-shaped cake box? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. But what if we did little... Sweet, but I think I'll avoid touching this bench, just to be safe. give him a hug? Does he think that I think it's not a date? If this is a date, it's a really silent one. Should I not have worn cologne? Is that too try hard? Maybe I didn't wear enough. Aw, look at the hang of this one day, or not. Supposed to give him a hug? Does he think that should I not have worn cologne? Is that too try hard? Maybe I didn't wear enough. Drugstore makeup from Seattle. We've got um, merch. Dude, count me in. I'm dying. Wish I could have seen drugstore makeup play. Maybe 
I could give a rose to Steph or Ryan. The rose can wait for now, but I should give it away before the music starts. Best viewers on VFG25SDG.top slash 9ZJL. Shit together for this grand opening. These people won't be so gracious forever. We might. Free food goes a long way in Haven. I'll take a coupon. No coupons, my dear. Just tell me your name and I'll remember it. All right. Alex Chen. Alex Chen? Didn't we speak already tonight? Nope. Stupid, so stupid. Print some coupons, they said. It's a small town, I'll remember, I said. Oh, hubris. You know, you could try posting on my block. Whoever comments gets the deal. Oh, well, that's a good idea. Best of luck. Gotta pull my shit together for this grand opening. These people won't be so gracious forever. Nice. May the best small town diner win. Lots of people still hanging out on Main Street tonight. The LARP was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. Do you think there's food left at the festival? Are you hungry? I thought you might be. I could be. But are you? Not really. But... That's nice of you. Right. Cool. Damn it. I'm head over heels for this dork. What do I do? That's a rough place to be. God, I still like her so much. What do I do? Wait, they're both into each other? Come on, people. Hey, um... I just wanted to say, you two make a really cute couple. Uh, oh! <laughs> Thanks, Alex. That's really sweet. That idea doesn't bother you? Us being a couple? Yeah. I... kind of like it. Holy shit. Uh, okay, so does this mean... Do, do you want to, um... Go out sometime? Yes. But just the two of us? Yes. An actual date. <laughs> Devoid of pottery or third wheels. Okay. Okay, great. Oh my god. My heart's still pounding. Can confirm. 
Holy shit. Is this really happening? I accept cash and checks. Alex Chen out here, covering Cupid's lazy ass. Haven't spoken to Charlotte since leaving here earlier. Hope she's okay. Even Steph's signs are badass. Someone special, huh? Time to deliver. I have a surprise for you. Good surprise or bad surprise? I started a farm in Moondrop Ranch. Get out! I'm romancing Melody. The nurse? She's adorable! I'll be real with you right now. Game is sick. I love you. Didn't expect that him playing my favorite game would be a turn on, but here we are. Didn't expect that him playing my favorite game would be a turn on, but here we are. Excuse me. expect that him playing my favorite game would be a turn on, but here we are. Wait, is someone standing out past the Bridge of Flowers? Pretty late for a bus ride. Excuse me. Never missed a spring festival before. Like, ever. Oh, honey. You'll catch the first few hours, and there will be other spring festivals. Actually, Nana, I might just wait at the bus stop. Avoid the parade of goodbyes. I'll cover for you. Just waiting at the bus stop, about to change my entire life. I've been there. There she is. Looks like she's packed and ready. Hey, Riley. Oh, hi, Alex. What are you doing out here? Just out for a walk. You? Can't tell that woman anything. 
My bus comes tonight, and I just couldn't bear saying goodbye to everyone. I get that. I'm really going to miss this town. I'll miss my Nana most of all, of course. <laughs> I hope Nana's okay. She's in good health, but sometimes I wonder if I should really be leaving her here alone. Eleanor is keeping her condition a secret, but I feel like Riley would want to know. What should I do? Tell Riley about Eleanor. Riley, I think there's something you should know. It's kind of a long story, but I found out that Eleanor has Alzheimer's. I'm sorry. I know it's a lot to take in. <laughs> I had my suspicions, but... I, I need to go home and talk to Nana about this. <sighs> Thank you so much, Alex. I'm sure it wasn't easy to tell me this. Sure. Good luck.
Are you serious right now? Boot? A fucking boot on my car? So I can't park where I normally park because we have to celebrate a bunch of fucking flowers? Hey! Boot! Fuck you! You think you're making the world a better place? Think you're doing a service for the citizens? You're just a goddamn tool for the man! You're a cog in the machine, you metal fuck! Whoa, dude. One, two, three. I control me. One, two, fuck! I don't control shit! Oof, sorry, man. We've all been there. One, two, three. I control. Whoa, dude. Whoa, dude. Too bad I can't unlock doors with my emotions. The rose can wait for now, but I should give it away before the music starts. Steph is just awesome. Maybe I could give a rose to her. I should give my rose to Steph or Ryan before the show. I should give my rose to Steph or Ryan before the show. This is for you. Are you serious? Of course I am. Dude, thank you so much. This totally makes my night. I'm glad. Hey, could we meet up after the show tonight? I actually have some pretty big news to share. She said mysteriously. <laughs> of course. Speaking of, Ryan should be done any minute. Meet me there? Sure. Holy 
fuck? She gave me a rose. Time to step it up, Gingrich. Hope I'm ready for... whatever I've started. Hey! Oh, hey. Just in time. So, who's playing? Yours truly. Seriously? That's awesome! Well, wait, who else? Steph. Who else is playing? I hate you both. We didn't want you to wuss out. Who said anything about wussing out? Nobody, but only because we didn't give you the opportunity. This is gonna be awesome, trust me. Um, we've never played together before, and, uh... Anyway... Sorry if this sucks. <sighs> Fuck it. I was horrible to you earlier. You really weren't. Really? Then I fucked up because I was trying pretty hard to be horrible to you. <laughs> I was so excited about you coming to Haven. In my mind, the way I built it up, we were gonna be best friends. <laughs> I wish... I know. Me too.
You okay? No. But... You know. I'm gonna go home. Sounds like Steph wants to meet me on the rooftop. Okay, I gotta admit, this is a pretty great feeling. Neighbors? Come on. Ugh, not tonight. Eleanor is like a mafia boss. Except instead of crime, she spreads flowers. Come on, son, get it over with. <laughs> I, I don't want to get sick. You're going to feel a whole lot better after you do. I'm, I'm going to die, Dad. Not tonight, you're not, birthday boy. Although I suspect you're going to wish you had tomorrow morning. <laughs> Had a boy. Well, oof, I'm never drinking again. It's not the same without you, Tabitha. Never was, never will be. Tabitha, sounds like Ducky's got a story to tell. I wonder who Tabitha is. Hey, Ducky. Who's Tabitha? Do you want to talk about her? You know, Alex, on this particular matter, I don't have much to say. Okay. 
There's gotta be more I can do for Ducky. Okay. Tell me what I need to know to help him. You know, I carved that myself. Oh, hi. I'm Reginald McAllister III. My friends call me Ducky. <laughs> Tabitha Baker. Call me Tabs. at the bottom. What? What are you? Uh, oh, Ducky. It's beautiful. Tabitha Baker, will you marry me? Here's to another 30 years. And another 30 festivals, if we can make it. Ducky, you're gonna outlast this whole damn town. I know that song. Poor Ducky. Maybe there's something I can do. It's a tough night for you, isn't it? The Spring Fest? That's right. You met Tabitha here, didn't you? In the Lantern. Yes, I did. Being here on that night was the luckiest I've ever been. Did you actually carve that wooden bear? Brana? <laughs> sure did. That was a long time ago. The Spring Festival must have been important to you two. Indeed. We were married at the festival. We both loved it so much. Give me one sec. did you? They're playing your song. Let's dance. That each new step is somehow preordained. I've not traveled this way before. Rainbows in the sky. Just like some dream. 
You know what reminds me most of her right now? It's not the song or the festival. It's that you took the time to care about a sad old man for no other reason than to make the world a little less troublesome. That was Tabs. Thank you, Alex. I think I'm a little more inclined to join the others outside. You're very welcome. Enjoy the festival. Uh, you said you have some news? I'm leaving. I'm actually leaving Haven Springs. Can you believe it? Back on the road again. Fucking finally. Wait, seriously? I'm gonna play music again, Alex. Anywhere I want. God, I forgot how fucking good it feels. Holy shit, Steph, that's so cool. I'm really happy for you. You better keep in touch. You think it's that easy to get rid of me? Come on, Chen. I need a new destination. You're my good luck charm. You have shit taste in good luck charms. <laughs> Shut up. Pick one. Ocean. Salem. Berlin. Fuck yeah. Bowie recorded Heroes in Berlin, and that record slaps. Where am I going to live there? Some big loft with concrete floors and exposed brick walls. I'll brood on the fire escape, writing lyrics in my leather-bound journal, and drinking absinthe straight from the bottle. Ugh. Someday, they turn the place into a museum. Steph Gingrich recorded blah, blah, blah here. And it... Slaps. <laughs> that sounds like a pretty spectacular plan. Great. Then come with me. 
to Berlin? Sure, why not? Doesn't have to be our first stop, but one day. I still have friends in Seattle who book shows. Maybe we start there or, I don't know, Kansas City, Vegas, wherever we want. Look, I don't want to pressure you, but I've seen you give so much of yourself to make sure other people get what they need. And I guess I wonder if you've thought about what you need. I mean, obviously, I like you a lot. Alex. You mean the fucking world to me. Kiss. Kiss. You don't have to decide anything now, okay? <laughs> Just think about it. I will. Thank you. I'm gonna head back down. Find me later. Hey, Gabe, can I tell you something? I think I solved it. Why you died, who's responsible. Isn't that crazy? I'm out of threads to pull, which is terrifying. Because on the other side of all this, after Typhon, after you, there's just normal life. I was kind of counting on you to show me how to do that. But I think I can figure it out. I just wish you were here to see it. Alex, do you have the USB drive? I do. It's all here. Gabe's call, their secret plan, the cover-up. You need to come with me to the station. 
Alex? Don't make this hard. Probably isn't how you pictured your first spring festival, huh? Not exactly. Coffee? I'm all right. Thanks, though. Good. Because we're, uh, actually out. Pike, why am I here? The long and short of it is, Diane is charging you with stealing her USB drive. That's bullshit. I haven't done anything wrong. They're the criminals here. Did you steal this USB drive or not? At least tell me you looked at it. I can't. Sorry. You're conducting an investigation into Typhon, right? Everything you've been looking for is on that drive. Despite my best efforts, the case is closed. The order came down today. I did what I could, but, you know, the evidence just wasn't there. Sorry, Alex. The order came down today from who? High up. Bosses, bosses, boss. It's not my job to know. Look, what happened to my brother wasn't an accident. It was criminal. The files on that drive prove it. That could be true. But let's say it is. The issue is you stole Typhon's property. I can't work with that. I just handed you a smoking gun. It shouldn't matter how I got it. Maybe not, but it does. Alex, you're not thinking about this clearly. Seems pretty clear to me. Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. That's a federal crime, Alex. Five to ten, easy. You know what? Fuck Diane. This isn't justice. This is a joke. It's not that bad. Hey, I talked to her, and despite how angry she is at everything you did, she's willing to let it go. If you agree to drop everything, Typhon won't press any charges. She's only offering that deal because she knows I have her. She's guilty, Pike. Even if you're right, your only evidence is inadmissible. I think you should do it. Fuck that. I'm not signing anything. Alex. No. Typhon buried something in the mountains. 
Something so massive, they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? What do you mean, cover it up? Another blast, unannounced, set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. And all of it happened just a few weeks before inspections were set to begin. Come on, Pike. It's all right here. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Alex, please, just sign the form, and we can both go back to the party. No. Alex, this is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No is not an option. What are you so scared of? See for yourself. Shit. What could be in that envelope? Alex, please. I don't want you to get hurt. Then help me, damn it. Is this a threat? Well, what did you expect? Huh? The Typhon, a global organization with billions in revenue, an army of lawyers, and who knows how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say, you got us. I thought I could get justice for Gabe. Yeah, well, Typhon has their own idea of justice. Shit. Believe me, I want nothing more than to make these fuckers pay. I've learned the hard way that it's not possible. They're too big, too connected, too ruthless. You can hate me if you want. Call me a coward. But I don't want to lose you like we lost Gabe. Pike is terrified of Typhon. I bet if I took his fear away. But it's not just about me. Steph and Ryan are in danger too. Fuck. I want to hurt Typhon so bad. But can I really put their lives at risk along with mine?
risk taking Pike's fear. Take Pike's fear. Typhon is too big, too invincible, but they're not. I will bring them down. I just need your help. Brigade. Brigade. Just have a little courage. Please. The fuck. I'll think about it. Thank you. Get the hell out of here. Really? Alex. Be careful. Those pictures. How long have they been watching us? And what will they do if... I have no idea what to do next. Maybe talking to Jed will help me feel better. First, I need to get out of this dress. It was special for me too, Steph. Enjoy that ice cream.
I'm glad Ducky had a nice night. He deserves it. Maybe I should start charging for my services. I had no idea what I was getting into, did I? Buried secrets, evil mining corporations, death threats. I didn't realize how awful it would all be. I put my friends' lives in danger. For what? Was it all for nothing? Time for a change of clothes. Might as well go talk to Jed now. I can go see the boss man. Maybe I'll just bike out to the mine, dig up some answers myself. Hey, Jed. There she is. Have a seat. Something tells me you've had a more exciting spring festival than you planned for. You saw Pike arrest me. And let you go, apparently. Then there's that business with Ryan and Steph earlier today. I wasn't sure why it took all three of you to work out Diane's lunch order. I know you're used to looking out for yourself. Gabe was like that. But Haven's a community. We help each other. I want to help you. But first, you have to let me know what's going on. Fuck it. What have I got to lose? Typhon killed Gabe. I have proof. 
What proof? I stole it from Diane. Emails and documents proving there was a second explosion the night Gabe died. To cover something up, Jed. Some secret they buried. I don't know what it is. I don't even know what to do next. But I'm not giving up. Not ever. I know what they're hiding. Wait. You're telling me you knew that Typhon's crooked? This whole time? Typhon's the devil that runs this town. I've been carrying their secrets for far too long. I know what they buried in the mountains. Tell me. I'll do one better. I'll show you. There, up ahead. Where are we? Middle of nowhere. About two clicks that way is the mining site where you search for Ethan. Five clicks that way is town. What is this thing? Ventilation shaft. They're scattered everywhere. Over the years, mines grow into mines, creating a labyrinth under Haven. What you're searching for is down below. Chad, why are you sad? I'm sorry, kid. Jed. What are you doing? I tried to talk you out of it. Scare you off. I was sure those pictures of Ryan and Steph would do the trick. But you were relentless. Won't leave damn well enough alone. You don't have to do this. I do. Twelve years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you... you can't undo. But Typhon made me a deal. A way to save my town. Give my boy a normal life. I never wanted Gabe to get hurt. Go to hell. 